Ben, I really don't see what good this is going to do. Just give him a description. What did he look like? He was tall, young, skinny, I don't know. He was wearing a bit of baseball cap. Oh my God, Ben, that's him. Him? Yeah, that's him, that's the one. You sure? Yes. Oi! Who do you think you are, eh? Attacking my girlfriend? Lisa, go and get the police. No, no you don't understand. I'm Case Brother. What? I'm Case Brother. Look, they gave me a necklace. It was the only thing she was wearing when she was. I have seen her wearing that. <laughs> ben, let him go. What? Let him go. I believe him. I'm sorry if I scared you. I, I just wanted to talk to you. Bollocks. Why didn't you just tell me who you were? I'm trying. I, I, I just wanted to be quiet so I could talk to you, that's all. Well, next time, write a letter. Come on, Lisa, let's get out of here. No, I want to talk to him. Come on, I'm taking you to work. There's a cafe. It's round the corner, we'll go there. Lisa? There's people in there, I'll be fine. Just go to work. You touch her and I'll sort you. Simon, these are the ladies we've been waiting to meet all our lives. Hi, I'm Polly. Nice to meet you, Simon. Hello. Hi. This is my friend, Lisa. Hi. Uh, drinks? What can I get you? Oh, yeah, I'm coming now. Right. What do you need? This is the lie? Mm-hmm. So, what's this footballer's name, then? I don't know. I think it's a Gareth Harris. Never heard of him. Ben's always been back. Hi, girls. This is Gareth. Pleasure to meet you both. Right, shall we uh, get down to business? That sounds like a very good idea. He's an absolute oh, god. god. <laughs> Thanks again, girls. Thanks. He had the serious hots. I've never seen anyone so brazen. You shut up. Imagine having that many people wanting a piece of you. Now you're getting bored of it after a while. Yeah, right. Lisa. I was serious, you know. Can I give you my number? Thanks. And you'll call, yeah? Maybe. I've already got a boyfriend. Oh, so think of the world he lives in, the life he leads, the stuff he does. I mean, imagine that. Imagine having that. It's pretty hard to resist. I'm <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> oh, it's only going out on his boat. It's perfectly innocent. He does not look like the innocent type to me. Well, so what if he's not? Oh, come on. No one would have to know. Could just tell Ben it was another job. I wouldn't say anything. Why? <laughs> come on, taste of the high life. I so would. <laughs> <laughs> nah, only about 50% of them. What about relationships? What percentage of that does it mess up? Listen, if Ben thinks you're getting a bit too big for your boots, that's his problem. You've got a job to do now, and he needs to get used to it. What if he's right, though? And if I am changing? Oh, so what if you are? Well, I don't want to end up like Gucci, a stuck-up model who thinks she's better than everyone else. So don't. If you choose not to stay true to yourself, that's your decision. Nobody else's. You seem like you've stuck true to yourself. I guess, if that's what you call it. Don't take any shit off him. You don't have to sleep with him. Just play along. So what you did? Well, I guess I could have been wiser. You've never done it with Burton, have you? No. We've got a good working relationship. That's all, thank God. Don't worry, Lisa. Modelling won't leave you sad and single like Precious. Hey, I might be single, but I'm not sad about it. Anyway, you can talk. Listen, don't worry. You're just having a freak because Ben's gone. 